Hello, welcome to part 4 of the guide where we are going to be opening door 8, 9 and 10. The arcade door, the intricate door and the space door. Also, we're going to start some quests first. So once you come in, you'll see there's a quest to your left called Gambler George. You do unlock this earlier on, but I'm just doing it right now in this guide just for the sake of the tutorial. If we speak to Gambler George, he says, Hey kid, my name's Gambler George. You know why they call me that? I never figured it out. Anyways, I've been watching your progress. I bet you can't win two Bedwars game matches in a row. Go on then, go give it a shot. That seems quite easy. I will say that for sure. Okay, for the next one, you're going to go back down to the cafeteria down here where Don Espresso was and then take a little right and there's a new NPC here called Bill Star. When you speak to him, he says, The name's Bill Star. I survived them all. Pixelville, Thorin, Kaelium, I've seen it all. Somehow, the one thing that eludes me is the Blitz Star. Years of Blitz and I still don't have one. What are the odds? Collect a Blitz Star from any Bed Wars games. They spawn randomly on the map five minutes into the game. There'll be another quest. So once you come up these stairs, take a left and you run against here, take a left again, you go down into the vault. There's a guy called Jeremy Jagger. If you speak to him, he says, you see this big safe? I bet they hide all their tickets in there. Probably coins too. You want to get in? I want to get in. Let's work together. I'm going to need quite a few materials to make a bomb and a distraction. Get me 60 wool cables, 20 iron nuggets, 5 gold bars, 3 diamond fragments, and an emerald shard. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have a decent amount of tickets. Hopefully you have a decent amount of tickets. So we can unlock these doors. So we're going to unlock arcade door, which costs 1,000 tickets. I'm at 6k right now because I gained some from the quest. Let's open it up and go into it. Ooh, this is cool. This is actually like arcade, yeah. A repeatable quest! Oh, finally, another one. Arcade player. This is Galaxy Wars, my favourite game in the Hypixel Arcade. I can't stop playing, but I ran out of iron nuggets. Can you help a guy out? I could use 25 more. These machines use iron nuggets. Can you believe it? They are so expensive to play. Well, I have iron nuggets already, so let me give you that. That's it, thank you so much. Here's my old rat mask. Man, I was a big fan of him when I was a kid. I played all the Ratman games and seen all of the extended Ratman Cinematic Universe movies, the RCU. I could use more iron nuggets, by the way. Just come over when you have extra iron nuggets. You get 1,000 slumber tickets, so just a free room, 10,000 Bedwars XP, and one Ratman mask. So, for door 9, you're going to need some items. You're going to need to collect the Blitz Star. You're going to need a block of Mega Balls Obsidian, Moonstone Nugget, and there was another item, but we did get it, I think, from doing the Don Expresso quest, the Tasty Mithril. But we can unlock door 10. So if we purchase this and go in, we have the Spaceman quest guy down there. Let's speak to him. Hey, what's up? Where's your spacesuit? How are you breathing here? Oh, I see. You're not actually here, are you? I'm dreaming, aren't I? This is my ultimate dream, really. I want to one day be on the moon. I found something here. I'll give it to you if you help me remember this dream forever. Can you get me some Never Stars? They're magical dream-like attributes. Should help me remember this dream. I could use 10, if you can. You can attain Never Stars by winning Bedwars matches. So yeah, another win Bedwars matches quest. Okay, cool. But we need items here. How am I going to get the block of Mega Wars and the Moonstone Nugget? Maybe it's from one of these quests. Let's see, maybe you get them from the, um, the Prisoner Vault Guy quest. I'd reckon you get something from that. Okay, well, yeah, let's get into a game and complete some of these. So for that, robbery quest for the vault diamonds they have a chance to drop when picking up diamonds same with emeralds they have a chance to be picked up when you're getting emeralds okay i have now completed all of those quests the blitzer one is quite cool basically after five minutes in a game it will spawn and tell you the coordinates in a chat and you'll just see a floating head with a little question mark on it and it has some particles in a circle going around it so that's pretty cool let's go speak to gambler george first and claim that quest in so from completing that quest you do get 10,000 blood was experience and 100 slumber tickets Next, we want to go back down to where Don Espresso was, but to the right, where Bill Star is. Speak to them, give him the Blitz Star. A Blitz Star? You found one! And you somehow took it out of the game and brought it here. What? Are you giving it to me? That's awesome! Maybe I'll keep playing Blitz. Seeing this star really makes me think I'll eventually get one. Plus 900 slumber tickets, obtain Blitz Star figurine, and 10,000 Bedwars XP. And you also got a faded Blitz Star, which I believe isn't that one of the items for Dawn. Nine. Yes, it was. So I've got two more quests to claim, the, the moon one and Jeremy. So if I go into the space store, speak to the spaceman, I can give them the 10 never stars. They say, you found the stars. I can feel more awake already. I can tell I remember this dream now. Here, take these tickets in this moonstone nugget I found. It's time for me to wake up and I just know the way. You get 1,000 slumber tickets and 10,000 bed was exp and a moonstone nugget and the NPC just died. That's sad. Well, we've gotten that now. So, all I need now is the Mega Wolves block, right? 
Yes. Do I get that from this quest? This will be down. So if we want to go down into the vault again, let's speak to Jeremy Jagger and give the 60 bare wool cable, 20 iron nuggets, 5 gold bars, 3 diamond fragments, 1 emerald shard. And they say, all right, stand back and watch the pro. Look, guard, emeralds. That's it. You've been acting suspicious for a while now. You're coming with me. What? No, I'm not suspicious. Aqua MOG is suspicious. I could have never caught this man if you hadn't talked to him before. Here's a reward, citizen. So you get 1,000 slumber tickets, 10,000 bedwars XP, one unused bomb materials. Okay, well, I don't know what that's gonna be. We've also seemed to got a few new quests around here. When you come in, you wanna turn right there. There's gonna be two new quests here. The first one called Wally. If you speak to him, they say, you see in this, right? I ain't crazy. There's a wither up there. It's creepy. It's looking at us. If you don't take it down, the enemy team won't stop respawning. What am I talking about? That's common knowledge, isn't it? Anyways, I need your help sending it back to where it came from. Can you get me five never stars and 100 bed sheets? We're gonna trap him and use the never stars to teleport him back to Solus. Quest started. 100 bed sheets. That's 100 beds broken. How many have I done? I'm on 203. Okay, so I can actually claim this one. So yeah, let me claim it real quick. There we go. And that. There we go. Quest completed. 10,000 bedwars XP and a block of Mega Wars Obsidian. So this is how you get it. So we're going up for floor nine now and now we can actually unlock it. It costs 5,000 in slumber tickets to open quite a hefty amount but there we go it is unlocked we go in explorer john indigo's is back once you speak to him he says looks like you're going to need a bigger wallet to enter this temple keep helping hotel guests until you obtain a hotel staff wallet then come see me again oh okay so we got to do a few more quests before doing this okay well we've now unlocked that door so we know about that i'm guessing all we need to do is this quest now let's see hello peter i gotta go back to the pit man this place is giving me the creeps it smells like bed wars i don't like bed wars i only play the pit can you show me the exit? Help Peter find his way back to the pit. Does he follow me? <gasps> so you are going to want to take them down into the cafeteria underneath where Don Espresso was, but instead of going over there, you turn left. Oh, here, right here. You have to take them to this location. And they say, hey, there's a pit I can get behind. See ya. You get two levels, 10,000 bedwars XP. Also, while you're here, you will see Inspector Maya Sterling. Upon speaking with them, they say, you are looking kind of sus. Are you the murderer? No, you wouldn't be. Or I would already be dead. I need clues as to who killed this innocent man. Can you look for some around here? Or on the floating aisles? Use this. Information on where to find each clue can be found in the quest log. Okay, so there we go. Help Inspector Maya find the first clue to the murder. Oh, it can be found on certain maps. So Ambush, Raze, Urban Plaza, and then there's other clues. So so do we have to do them in a row or oh that's really cool though so we got a queue maps okay well awesome that's another quest activated i see the murder clue it's that middle i guess i think it spawns around randomly around okay second time lucky right i wonder if i have to give it to my um shopkeeper and i guess i can't die with it hey murder clue there we go you collected at air fresheners you used a pair of used gloves. Oh, oh, so you don't actually have to speak to the shopkeeper. That's cool. Okay, and also, if we go back to the laundry room, there is, once again, another repeatable quest called Laundry Gal. We speak to her, they say, Hey, I'm the Laundry Gal. I used to have a name, but I can't remember it now. This place does weird things to the mind when you work in it. I'm responsible for cleaning pillows. Bring me your excess pillows. I'll clean them good. I'm really good at it. At least the machine is. Bring 20 comfy pillows to them. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So you do need to grind a bit more. Cool. And there's also another new repeatable quest to the right when you walk in. Combat Artist Sally. My name's Sally. I'm a combat artist. I fight with art. Blocks are my weapon. I was a soldier in the Great Bull Battle of 2043. I heard the tension was pretty bad lately, and we might be going to war again. I need to stock up on wool. Can you help me out? Wool cables would do. I can sew them up together into blocks. You need to bring 32 to them, and once you do that, they say, that's enough cable for a block. That's great, but I can't create art with just one block. Bring me more. Here's your payment for now. You get 50 slumber tickets and 10,000 bedwars XP. So yeah, for all of these repeatable quests, you are going to get 50 slumber tickets every single time you redo it. Okay, so yeah, if you want to come back down to this little room down here where Don Expresso is, there's another repeatable quest called Master Mayor. They say, the art of combat is the most pure form of expression. There are many ways to fight between weapons and, well, pushing people around. Go, my student, fight and bring me back proof of your Metal? Quest started the art of flight. Collect 15 tokens of ferocity by killing or assisting players. We should already have that. There we go. You are one with the battlefield. I can see that. You have done well and shall be rewarded for it. 50 slumber tickets, 10,000 bedwars XP. Another level. Oh my god. Oh, and now doing that, there's another repeatable quest over here. Lester Brody. Let's speak to them. Bro! How long have you been playing Bed Wars? Dude, dude! You gotta win to make it. Where even are you in the leaderboard? If you prove to me that you're winning, I'll give you tickets. 
collect 10 never stars. So I have now completed these other two, so I've now completed the laundry gal quest and the bro you gotta win quest. So yeah, let's go to the laundry gal, which is just by the laundry guy. So let's claim in this quest, give them the 20 comfy pillows. 20 pillows? That's the right amount for a load. I'll put them right in. Thank you so much. You're making my job easy. Really? Here's your tickets. 50 slumber tickets and 10,000 bed was XP. So now you want to come back down to the cafeteria diner place, wherever this place is called. Speak to Loader Brody because I have the 10 never stars for them. There you go. I think I saw you on the leaderboard. Nice. Hey, take those tickets and keep it all. Maybe we'll be first someday. I don't know. Just keep playing, lol. You get 300 slumber tickets and 10,000 bedrooms XP, so two more levels. Also, as you can see, there is another repeatable quest here. Gizzy Moon Powder. Let's speak to them. They say, boy, can I play guitar. I come from Jupiter, where I learn to play guitar with the ants from Jupiter. I would like my god-given guitar to be improved. Diamond fragment all over it. The dogs are after my diamonds, and they keep stealing them. So you got to get this guy 10 diamond fragments, which, if you don't remember, you just got to pick up diamonds and you have a chance of getting them. Now, I do have enough already so I can claim that in straight away. Gizzy seems infatuated with his own ego, barely acknowledging your presence. Ah yes, here are the diamond fragments. Take these tickets. I have to sing and play guitar. Let me get back to that now. And so Gizzy played guitar. 300 slumber tickets and 10,000 bed was XP. There's now a new villager NPC literally right over from them. And it's a sort of trading. So for five emeralds, you can trade in for 200 slumber tickets. Pretty cool. There we go. Awesome. So that isn't a quest, but it's just a free way to get tickets if you have spare emeralds. So now we want to come up, take a right and go down to the blacksmith. Because there is another repeatable quest called Electrician Russell. The fuse is blown. Who built the wiring? for this place. It's a complete mess and the cables are low quality. Dream electricity only flows through gold cables. Who would use bronze for this? What a mess. Amateurist design. Can you get me some gold bars so I can have the blacksmith around here make me gold cables? So you need five gold bars. I already have those, so let's give them in. There we go. With those, I can get some repairs done. Thank you. Here's some tickets. Come back later. There's always more repairs needed around here. 100 slumber tickets and 10,000 bed was XP. So these ones, this quest actually gives you 100 slumber tickets per repetition. So you do get more from that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, as we cannot complete this other part of the quest, the murder one, because we do need to play castle. And I'm not a cheater, you know? I'm not going to cheat through this like YouTubers did. So yeah, I'm going to open up these doors for 1,000 tickets. Door 11. There we go. Oh, this is Limbo. Okay. Wow, look at Limbo. It's so cool. Oh, I'm guessing we have to do the parkour. Yeah, by the looks of it, the NPC is up there. Limbo dust. There we go. Well, I don't exactly know what we need that for, but thanks, I guess. Wait, could I fly the whole time? And I just did the parkour. <sighs> Mythical dust found in limbo that can render any curse in a... Well, I don't know what that does, so... It's useless right now. So let's open up garage door. <laughs> there we go. We have a new quest. Jets McTurbo. Hey, this is my garage. Welcome. My name is Jets McTurbo. I race so much, I legally changed my name for it. That might not have been my proudest moment. Anyway, my car is in shambles. I'm out of cable to fix it, and all I need is some sort of metals to smelt into parts. I got every tool I need to make the repairs in this garage. But can you help me get the materials? 30 iron nuggets and 3 emerald shards for the frame, 100 spare wall cables for the electronics, and 5 never stars for the engine. It needs all the power it can get. Okay, so I have just completed the Jets Turbo Carts quest, which is in the garage door. So let's go into it and claim it. There we go. Give you those iron ingots, whatever they are. Three emerald shards, the spare wall cable, and the never star. There we are. Hold on. What a beauty. I'll definitely win. I'll definitely win with this one. You helped me so much. Here's a reward. 1.2 thousand slumber tickets, obtained cart race in figurine, 10,000 bedwars XP, and you start a new quest. Hotel receptionist. Hey, I'd like to have a word with you. Come soon me at the front desk. Speak to the hotel receptionist. Hello hotel receptionist. You have done well helping the customers of this hotel. The owner has decided to reward you with this new wallet. He will soon meet you. In the meantime, please also take this piece of glowing sandpaper. I'm sure you can figure out a way to use it. You can now hold up to 10,000 slumber tickets, plus 2,000 tickets, and another two levels, 10,000 XP. So, can we go into door number nine now? Let's see. We can, I think. Oh hey, it's you. How did you? No matter. I need to open this door, but I need to blow it up. Can you help me? Well, luckily we got TNT earlier from one of the quests, so we can use the unused bomb materials and blow the door up. That would do. Stand back. You got this from Jeremy Jagger, didn't you? I can recognize his handiwork instantly. It's really bad. 
it looks like we made a small tunnel in the corner there. Let's go in. Bring something to blow up the temple door. My quest is completed, so now click to go in. Okay, I'm guessing I gotta do parkour, right? This looks like some sort of parkour. Okay, hello, John Indigos. Quest started. Bring John something that will help breathe poisonous air. Maybe some sort of mask. Wait, we have a rat mask, don't we? We got that rat mask earlier. Right there, rat man mask. Maybe that's it. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it is. Isn't that rat man's mask? That could help us breathe through this. I read all of rat man's comics when I was a young lad. Super high quality. You could fool me if you told me that it was the real thing. Okay, what's this next thing? Hold on. Don't step on the bridge just yet. It's cursed. It will throw you off instantly. We need something to render it inert. Do I have anything? Oh, we do. Oh, Limbo does from Limbo. Oh, okay. There you go. That will do. See you on the other side. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's another figurine, by the way looks of things. There it is, the golden figurine of the Sandman. Have you heard of him? He's well known in all sorts of folklore stories. This is what we're looking for, my friend. But to avoid traps, I need something to swap it with. So I need to find something to swap it with. Something light but also clean. So, unfortunately for now, that is the last quest you can get, but you cannot complete it. So we've got five quests left. we got to wait for castles to be out to actually finish the murder quest. And we're guessing this is to do with either that murder quest or the figurine enthusiast, which is the NPC over here, but it does nothing when you click on them. So yeah, I've technically maxed the update already. I've gone up around 80, actually I think 79 stars right now. That is awesome. 1,000 stars soon maybe? Anyway, thank you for watching the guide. Obviously I will make more like little mini guides whenever this NPC gets activated and when Castles is out on the 29th of December. So I hope this helps you out. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.